I'm from Omaha, Nebraska, but I was actually born in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. When I was younger, I played basketball and I played volleyball and softball. In high school, I just narrowed it down to basketball and track and volleyball. I, I would say probably middle school, like eighth grade, and, and in high school, I was like, yeah, I'm better at basketball, so I think I'm just gonna stick to basketball. I had ACL surgery in February of my senior year, and then I came here actually pretty early. I came in May. They wanted me to come early to rehab with our trainer. We just basically tried to get my knee healthy to get me to play like as soon as possible. As I was recovering from my ACL injury, I was basically doing skill workouts and everything like basically fully recovered. And I think in August, I re-tore my meniscus. It kind of like pushed me back a little bit. So I wasn't able to play my first game, my freshman season. The second game, I was very limited. so I probably got in like a good three minutes, <laughs> not even. It was kind of tough at first, you know, I kind of, I cried <laughs> when I retoured because I, I just thought like, you know, I don't want to go through this again. But just having like Charlie and the coaches and even Diana, the trainer, like they made it so easy. Like it wasn't even hard for me at all. Ibis turns, shoots so pretty. She is just money from the mid-range. I definitely want to help my team reach Pac-12 championship and just even going further into the tournament than we have the past years I've been here. I have thought about occupational therapy for a while. I definitely want to keep my um, career down like the health field and maybe stay kind of sports related. I would say my biggest influence is my mom. Just seeing how she worked hard, especially not having everything. Just being a single parent is definitely hard for her. The way she just works at everything, it definitely inspires me to be a better person and just, you know, to work for everything.